British High Commission has reacted to reports on some sessions of the media that Namdekano, leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, was arrested in their country. The second secretary political head of communications at the British High Commission, Dan Hollock, said that while they can confirm Kano's arrest, he was not picked up in the UK where he is based. The IPOB leader, who is also a UK citizen, had been in UK since 2017 when he flew to Nigeria and following the invention of his Afro cool home in Umoja, Abia State. Abuba Kamalami, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, had told journalists on Tuesday that he was picked up on Sunday due to the collaborative efforts of Nigerian intelligence and security services. The AGF did not say specifically where Mr. Kano was arrested, but Harold Locke confirmed to the cable that it was outside of the UK. We can confirm that Nam Kano was not arrested in the UK for extradition purpose, he said via test message. Kano was first arrested on October 14, 2015, following years of his campaign for the sovereign state of Biafra. He was granted bail in April 2017, but flew Nigeria in 2017 after soldiers invaded his country home in Abia State during a military camp turn on IPOB members. His lawyer, Mr. Ifrani Ujafo, have also confirmed his arrest, but demanded that Kano's fundamental rights must be respected while in custody. We have just confirmed through a correspondent from the Federal High Court Abuja about the arrest and the extradition of my client, Marzi Namdi Kano, by the Nigerian state. It is to be noted, therefore, that no matter the gravity of the offenses or charge preferred against him, Section 36, 5 in bracket of the Constitution, still presumes him innocent of the allegations. The statement by IPOB leaders cancel reads and parts. Nigerians have been reacting left, right, and center. Some persons are jubilating mostly in the northern part of the country. Why some are saying that Marzin Namdekano should not be touched? Because if he's killed, this is going to destabilize the country. So many persons have been saying, uh, honestly, <laughs> the arrest of Marzin Namdekano really show how we are. You can imagine people jubilating as if they have arrested the dead Abubakar Shaku and all that, mostly in the northern part of this country. You get. Marzinam the Kano is not the problem of Nigeria. But the way the federal government, you know, is going about this IPOP, Marzinam the Kano and all that, it still shows injustice. And this is what they are agitating for or against. The way Nigerian government has taken pain, you know, to study Nandikano's movement, even outside this country, and brought him back to Nigeria. Oh, that means it will not take them two seconds to arrest all these bandits and Boko Haram that are, has been terrorizing Nigerians and all that. It's really very, very painful that... Uh, we are facing this and those people that is jubilating all <laughs> we don't know our fate now because you you cannot see that anybody that want to say anything about the administration they will go any length to make sure they will silence you in any way or the other that is just the gospel truth they don't want people to know their secrets and they don't want anybody to challenge them so they just want to do the, their things the way they they prefer or they like doing it. But most of us, we don't understand this. Now the Kano have been shouting about uh, flanization, of, uh, flanization agenda and all that and all that. 
what is going on in this country is not democracy. We are not practicing it. As we are talking to, as I'm talking to you now, uh, in Southeast, they have flooded more soldiers, more police in all the streets in the Southeast. What is going on? I'm saying it again. The strength the federal government is using, you know, on IPOP members and their leaders, if they use it against Boko Haram by now, Sujensi and whatever would have been an history in this country. But the question is, what is happening? We have somebody that is mediating for the bandits, speaking for them. For goodness sake, these are people that have taken lives of people. These people are just agitating for their freedom. How can you now compare the two? How can you compare the two? I saw one comment here that... Uh, all right, someone just said something here. He said, unknown gunmen and all the happenings in the Southeast was planned by the federal government. They are just looking for a way to destabilize the Southeast and to use it uh, against Marzin and the Kano for even their own people, the leaders of the Southeast, to hate Marzin and the Kano. And that is what the federal government have succeeded in doing. They have planned all these things. Marzin and the Kano have said it several times that is the IPOP members and the ESN hands are clean against the uh, police formations and the Nigerians operatives that has been killed in the Southeast. If you said that, uh, who knows? Anything can be possible on this planet, mostly this country. <coughs> Sorry about that. I said that anything that's, that does not exist in Nigeria, that means, oh, sorry, anything that, that is not possible in Nigeria, that means that thing does not exist, exist in this planet Earth. As far as Nigeria is concerned, anything can be possible. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Let's still keep our hands crossed and, and see how it goes. Thank you very much. Bye for now.